A school resource officer won't be charged with a crime after it was revealed that he was filming students without their consent, including instances where the students were naked. Uh, you know, I saw this story, and this reminded me of how bad things can go wrong if prosecutors don't really do their job. It can go wrong for the victim, and it can go wrong for the person that's being accused. So my take on this case is when I saw it, it's, it's an important case, not just because of this particular instance, but it's important because we run into these kinds of cases a lot in the U.S. where you have prosecutors' offices that believe that they somehow transcend constitutional rights. Now, in this situation, you've got, you've got this uh, resource officer, who was also a coach, said he had he, inside his house he had um, uh, cameras that were security cameras as well as outside of his house. Somebody breaks in, they, if you have people in the house working, you can, you can film what they're doing. This situation, he had a camera that also shot into to one of the restrooms. He gave an explanation for what it was. For four years, this has been kicking around. They didn't that never took it to a, uh, to a grand jury destroyed this guy's reputation, completely, utterly destroyed his reputation, and, and now, he's, now they're here saying, well, basically, they're going to have to drop charges. Well, yeah, because, as you mentioned, they failed to take it to a grand jury. They just kind of sat and sat and sat. I mean, this is prosecutor, uh, prosecutorial misconduct at the very height of it. But, but there's also the other side of it, too, is a lot of questions that are now just going to remain unanswered because right. they let the statute of limitations expire. You know, obviously you're innocent until proven guilty, but why was this resource officer slash track coach, why were these teenage boys in his home? Why mm -hmm. were they staying with him? They were not his children. Mm -hmm. So that's a question that I think would, would need to be answered. And, you know, you're not allowed to film a restaurant. Um, at least a public one. I, I'm sure there's obviously different statutes at your own home, but that does also kind of raise a couple issues about privacy. Did the kids know? But again, he was an officer. He said, I have these guns, you know, throughout my home. And that's why I have it there to make sure nobody gets into that. Seems like a plausible explanation. Well, we don't know because right. here again, the, the prosecutors, you know, everybody wanted to jump on the bandwagon. Let's charge him. Police officers, let's charge him. Maybe he should have been charged. But when a prosecutor doesn't do their job, what it, the worst scenario is the guy did nothing wrong. Right. Now, his, his career is completely ruined. If they would have done something wrong, they certainly would have taken it to a grand jury. A grand jury could have looked at it, uh, and they could have said, and, and let me just point this out. I haven't been a prosecutor. It's, if you want a grand jury to prosecute your target, you're going to get it every time. I mean, that's just part of how it works. The prosecutor goes into the grand jury room. There's really no, you know, there's no question they can accomplish what they want to accomplish. So here you've got this situation. The man's life, I, you can imagine, is in shambles. He's been accused of filming people inside his house taking showers. Uh, if you look at the story, it's not even clear, you know, what they actually took from the house. Was there other filming going on as well? I don't know. This is just, I, I, time and time again, I see bad prosecutors doing bad things that result in, in, in bad things for people. And sometimes they're right, but if, you're, if you feel like you're right as a prosecutor, you need to go ahead and you need to buck up, you need to man up, take it to a, take it to a grand jury if you really think you have a case other than just doing what these boneheads did. I mean, this is, this is really travesty. Well, well there's certainly, you know, based on this story and what we know about it, there doesn't appear to be anything malicious no. about what this resource officer did. But at the same time that they're sitting around kicking this guy in limbo, we have police officers out there putting African-American unarmed suspects in chokeholds, giving them those rough rides. I mean, killing them, basically just yeah. killing them getting off because as you point out, you go to a grand jury, you're a good prosecutor. If you don't want a prosecution, yeah, you can get uh, that as easily as you can get a prosecution. It's both ways. Right. It's both ways. We've seen it with the, uh, we've seen it with the, with the, these insanity cases where you have officers that just way, way exceed what they should do. And if the prosecutor doesn't want that person prosecuted, 
they just say the right things. They ask the right questions, and a grand jury comes back. The, the Michael Brown. Uh, Michael Brown case. is a great example. Yeah. yeah.